Hey YouTube, this is Christy at the Germaphobe Farms. I'm in the wanna wait. Homesteader wannabe. I just started making videos, so I can't even remember my name. But um mostly I make these videos uh, uh for myself to watch in the winter because um I don't know how you get seen on YouTube. Um and that's okay. Uh I know I'll enjoy this in the winter because I just love outside. I love my farm. I love garden. And um, I just saw a lady, um, I forget which YouTube channel it was, and she wanted people who were inspired by Jess from Roots and Refuge's rant the other day about raindrops and how to be a raindrop and change things and, you know, help our earth and save our earth from what, you know, pretty much is just a... Uh, greedy people, greedy corporations, uh, caring more about their right now than their grandchildren's right now. Yeah, they'll have money and stuff, but, uh, what, what we're going to eat in 50 years and, um, how we're going to get it and how, what our life expectancy will be, uh, from all the chemicals and stuff being put in our food, being put in the ground, and, um, it's hard because you want to do more than, you know, you have to start somewhere. So, um, I've been inspired a lot by Jess and Roots and Refuge this year. And so I've started small, um, gardens and, um, I will show them to you. And she just, you know, she's changing the world. And, um, you know, every YouTuber or blogger or whatever that has any kind of influence, not really me, but other folks uh, that have a lot of followers and stuff, um, you know, they're changing the world. So I will take you around and show you uh, what I've done this year. And um, a lot of it's inspired by Jess because uh, she basically, they, her stuff just started showing up on my Facebook and I wasn't even watching any Homesteader videos. And when I started watching her, I was so inspired. And um, then I realized I was talking to myself in the garden. And I thought, well, why not just bring the camera and talk to myself? Uh, and maybe, you know, somebody will catch it one of these years, days, whatever. And uh, if not, like I said, I would be more than happy to watch these things in the winter. Because winter's hard. And then you can look at this and say, you know what, next year I want to do this. And I want to change this. I'm going to try this. Every year I try to change, uh, you know, try something different. And I know my camera's shaking because I'm outside. The wind's blowing a little bit. And, you know, really I'm just always nervous when I start these videos. Until I turn the camera around and show you my garden. But, uh, so I'll take you on a little tour. It's very small. We're going to have a bigger garden next year. Because, like I said, I've been inspired by not just Jess. Lots of these, um homestead videos uh faith family homestead our freedom song and i mean uh there's tons and so we'll just uh take a quick peek and i'll show you what i'm doing this year and um i just basically want to thank jess for putting me on a path and i love how she just says you don't just try it so i've tried a lot of different things i put a lot of beans in a grow bag Hopefully I'll get beans, but if not, I know next year, don't put that many beans in the grow bag. So anyway, here we go. I'm gonna mention this book. It's Cleanish by Jen Stevens. It tells you a lot about the chemicals in our world, in our food, uh, cleaning products, shampoos, all that stuff. And it's a very good book. Also, I read some of uh, Jen Stevens' Fast Feast Repeat and Delay Don't Deny books, and I lost 20 pounds that I wasn't trying to. Uh, so she's uh one of my favorite people in the world uh here's just this is just a small table my husband made me to put my grow bags on and you know tomatoes these are bush tomatoes they're doing good here's some green beans in the grow bag maybe too many we will find out soon some strawberries that got a little bit too much water last week and it doesn't have a hole in the bottom so usually I have to put it on the porch and I forgot strawberries I got these grow bags too for $9.99 at uh, I, I put this in another video but I'll say it just in case uh, at Amazon they're such good bags and some more strawberries peppers here's an heirloom tomato plant 
Can you tell I like green beans? Uh, green beans are my second favorite too. Cucumbers. There's some cucumbers in there. Um, here's another grow bag of green beans. Jalapenos. I never grew jalapenos till this year. Um, little tip. Wear gloves when you're cutting them. My hands burned all day yesterday. It was, it was kind of miserable. These are big time lavenders and this is uh, dill and cilantro that I'm growing. And here's a, some eggplants that I've grown. I keep throwing things in bags because people keep talking about, you know, what's, get, what's going on with the economy. So I, every, every time I get a bag, I just go ahead and put something in it because let's just grow stuff and freeze it or can it or whatever. See, just a small garden. It's got a tomato, zucchinis, summer squashes. These are just some big, tall marigolds from my neighbor's greenhouse. There's another tomato, summer squashes. They're doing, these are so easy to grow and they're delicious. So this is the first year for growing those. I uh, plan on growing a lot more. Here is some cucumbers. I hope they're being pollinated. Nothing's being pollinated this year. I'm hand pollinating everything. Um, I have a hard time hand pollinating the cucumbers. So if anybody has any tips, which will probably be nobody, but maybe I'll find, uh, remind myself to Google some tips. <sighs> zucchinis and a tomato there's a, all, all heirloom except for the bush one there's some big time lavender that's past its time and then excuse the mess i have some stuff growing over there by our transformer you know i'm trying to grow stuff over there because we have an ugly transformer because we didn't want my husband didn't want poles coming up the driveway. There's just a little, this is gonna be fast because I'm, you know, I've d I, I do a video a week. So this is just a fast one because I just wanted to do the raindrop thing. This is a flower garden I made. It has hollyhocks, um, hardy hibiscus, uh, ever blooming lilac. Um, some things like the hollyhocks are growing and some lavender, but, um, you know, I love to put vegetables in with the flowers. So that's zucchinis and summer squashes that are a few weeks behind what's in the back. So it's kind of succession. And I used, this is the garden I started putting in. Um, let's show my hummingbird thing. I got, I have tons of hummingbirds. Of course, I don't when I'm filming. Of course. But this is where I started with my vegetables uh, but now it's a little bit too full a lot of shadows and here's a milkweed I'm just deciding to let it grow might be a big mistake but I just love butterflies and I want to help we do have a big field of almost you know a big swath of it is uh, milkweed for the uh, monarchs which we're starting to get a lot more of monarchs every year but anyway I started in here because for some reason I was at Lowe's and I my dad had sliced a tomato at a grill out and it was still warm from the uh, outside from the sun and he brought it in and we had we're grilling out hamburgers and sliced it and just you know put salt and pepper on it it was the best thing on the plate and so I went and got two tomato plants put them in there and they grew and did great and they got hormones and I didn't even know what a hormone was so I was like oh my gosh and I just cut it down but they did great and I've always you know wanted tomatoes after that and then it came to cucumbers and then like I said I keep growing and growing and all these gardens now I just have this one spot where I put plants that I order online that are suffering a little bit this is my best soil tons of worms uh mulches decomposed in here for 15 years every year I put new mulch on and that's the tree that I found the cop or not the tree the bush the, found the copper head in so I kind of stay away from that and some sunflowers um some of these are um get off me bugs what the freak uh some of these are you know volunteers and some of them I planted I have to show this thing if you have Japanese beetles this thing is amazing. You get it on Amazon. As you can see, I'm not affiliated with them because they would never affiliate with me because I have zero followers, but still. Uh, it really, like the first year we had this, 
it was full up to here every day with Japanese beetles. So basically, we hardly have any Japanese beetles. There's a little bait. It smells like something they love. Pheromones, maybe. I don't know. And um, every year we have less and less. Now, yesterday, I barely had this many. And I take them and, you know, it's hard for me to kill stuff. Sometimes I take them back there and, and release them on the back part of our farm. And sometimes I do kill them because I'm lazy. But uh, I can't stand for them to just be in there and suffering. But anyway, if uh, it's it's just really good. It's a good, it works. And every year, you know, you ha it captures them. And so you have less and less beetles every year because they don't lay the larva or whatever you want to call it. It's just a little bed I created this year. Getting very inspired watching Jess and other YouTubers about gardening. And it's got some butterfly mint, a butterfly bush, and some big time lavender. And I have to put more mulch in here because as you can see, I, you can see the um, box boxes I need to cover. But I will tell you, I do something I've never seen anybody else do. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. But because of my cats, when I make these, I made this one this year. I hope to put more stuff in it next year because I only dug what I needed to plant the plant. And then I put really good soil and stuff in it in the hole where I planted the plant. And then over the grass, I just put the cardboard directly. I didn't put any compost. I didn't put any dirt because of the cats. If I did, it would just be the litter box. And so when they dig in here, they're just getting cardboard, which the cardboard's deteriorated a lot, but I do have, you know, weeds. I have to come back out every so often and put more cardboard with the mulch on top. But next year, I'm hoping in the spring, that's uh, three butterfly bushes and two lavenders. And next year, I'll fill it in with thyme. I'm planning on putting maybe some cucumber or beans that'll climb up the, that's our son's ramp. Um, climb up the banisters and I think that would be beautiful and easy to harvest but anyway I I just did that and it's it's working pretty good so you know when I do pull back to put, put more cardboard down there's a ton of worms and a ton of holes and stuff so I'm just hoping that that'll work because like I said I do not need I do not need uh, the cats spoiling this stuff and i did put weed berry under here which some weeds is still but in the winter i'll go in i'll pull those i'll put something else down right there because it's against the house except for that one and work on i will not work on that <laughs> this time of year because i am frightened of snakes there's our pond our that um oak tree down there by the pond is a might we leave the grass long under it and it's a huge place to bed down the fawn so it's real fun watching them this time of year and coming around we're back where we started there's my porch with the table my husband built me he also bought me the rural king galvanized tub and here's my composter i always say this is like spinning the big wheel on the price is right come out here every day and turn it especially when it's real hot like this i'm just so excited about the compost there's one side cooking and then i got the other side you know put still putting stuff in and here's my first composter ever <laughs> it works i still got stuff in there worms go up in the bottom go all through it so make sure if you do something like that you put holes on the bottom like this one i'm not going to get worms in there but this one i get worms they go all through it they love it so basically that's it and um i'm just thanking jess for inspiring a lot of this basically last year i had this table and i did have a few things in this garden my husband made me that garden too but he's making me a big garden out on the other side of the house next year and i'm very excited about it all right, so that's it. Uh, it's very small. It's uh, working for me right now. I'm busy. Um, you're all busy. I'm just starting. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning more every day. So um, thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTubers. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, 
for all the YouTubers that teach us, if uh, somebody teaches you something, you need to like and subscribe to that page. Even if you never watched again, I think uh, if you learn something, then you need to thank them. And that's a great way to thank them. Also, you know, you could say thank you in the um, comment section. But uh, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to say thank you. I learned something today. I think that's a great compliment to these um, homesteaders, farmers, gardeners. Just, you know, it's just amazing that things you can learn. And it gives you, it gives me such bravery to try new things to see that, you know, okay, well, if I mess up, I mess up, you know. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, we don't have any chickens or um, cows or anything like that right now. Um, the reason my farm, I call it germaphobe farm, is because my son has special needs. Uh, so, I have to tube feed him. I cannot go out here and mess with chickens and then come in here and get around a tube. So, um, it might be in my future, maybe if I wear a hazmat suit or something like that. But I do buy my chicken and beef from a, a local lady who uh, has a farm. So, you know, it's still just as good. It's, it's helping uh, her. And if I had chicken and um, cows, I would want somebody to buy off me and help me. So if you can't have chickens and cows, don't feel guilty. But, you, you know, if you can, find a farmer because you're helping them and you're helping yourself especially if they have the kind of practices cat wants out all right the kind of practices that um is what you're looking for and i'm definitely i don't want meat from overseas and i don't want meat that has been raised a hundred cows in a little pen with no grass and eating gmo corn so i mean you know sometimes you have to uh, but if you can, but it's just baby steps, just take a baby step. Like I went to Branch Basics, if you uh, are looking for cleaners, and they have a concentrate. And the concentrate makes glass, clean, and it's in the bottle, so you can reuse the bottles, and then you just order the concentrate when you need it. It makes laundry detergent, glass cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, um, hand soap, and you make it out of that. Which I take the hand soap, it's a foaming hand soap, and I wash my vegetables with it. Um... If, if I think they needed it, if, especially if I buy them from, you know, not here, because I know what's here, but like if, um, you know, if it laid in the dirt or something, I'll take it in there and use it. And it's non-toxic and you can feel good about that. I mean, sometimes you need bleach, sometimes, but 99% of the time you don't. So, uh, also I, I love their laundry so, uh, stuff. Uh, it's made from the concentrate too. Um, and also Nellie's. It's a five ingredient powder uh, detergent. So good. I mean, it, it's good. And then, you know, dryer balls, the wool dryer balls and stuff. Everything like that, that's just baby steps. I started doing wool dryer balls like three years ago and then Nellie's two years ago and then Branch Basics this year. And you just make baby steps. You do what you can, you use what you got. And when you're done with it, the next choice, you can make a better choice. And now it's getting to where, because people want it, it's not hard to find it. You go to the store, you can find stuff. But, you know, um, I've heard, you know, I don't know. But there's an app you can get, EWG, I think, and they'll tell you. You can scan the barcode, and it'll tell you if it's a clean product on makeup and different products. I mean, they don't have everything on there, but, you know, they'd have a lot of stuff. So, anyway, I'm going to get off here. I, I thank you, Jess. Uh, you've put uh, your raindrops make my raindrops, make hundreds of other people's, not from me, <laughs> but your raindrops have, I mean, just crazy amount. And uh, we're gonna fill up that Olympic pool. And you have, we have to demand change because the consumer, you know, is king. But, I mean, I, I hardly know anybody in my local area that cares. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, but one person's one person. And you just gotta help the person that wants it and goes looking for it. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can change, change the world eventually and heal this earth. But anyway, uh, have happy, I'm gonna have happy thoughts. And uh, 
you know, live your life courageously and uh, laugh without fear of the future. So that's from Proverbs 31. Uh, she clothes herself with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. That's my verse. It was my verse. I put it as one year, but it just stays my verse. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And every time I start feeling uh, scared and uh, stuff of uh, what's going on, inflation and gas prices and not being able to find a lot of the things that you need at the store i'm just gonna say she laughs without fear of the future and that's what i'm gonna try to do but it's a lot easier said than done sometimes but just keep telling yourself that so anyway i thank you i'll see you or me i'll definitely see me so i'm gonna tell me right now listen it's winter it's cold but spring's coming and you get to watch all this stuff and it's just, uh, summer's just a wonderful time, but winter's so fast anymore. The years are so fast anymore. Just, you know, start planning, looking at seed catalogs, reading books, watching these YouTube videos, and enjoy your winter, Christy. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, so short. And you have no flies right now, or bugs crawling in your house, or hornworms. So there's a few things that's really good about winter. Anyway, I'll let y'all go. See you later. Bye-bye.